Hey guys, happy Labor Day. It's Lisa from 2creatorwebsite.com and I'm going to show you guys a quick tip on how to set up your affiliate links so they're easy to remember yet they still redirect and give you the commission if a sale is made. I get questions about my affiliate links every now and then so I decided to do a video about this. Um, this is not an innovative technique at all guys. I've been doing this for 12 years. I got the tip from Alan Gardine of AssociatePrograms.com way back when and I've just been using this system since then. Um, I'm sure there are a lot more sophisticated procedures out there now with CMS's and affiliate tracking programs but this is just what I use. It works for me and if you guys have some systems out there that you want to talk about you use feel free to post below in the comments. So um, for example I don't know about you guys but I have a lot of affiliate programs that I belong to and I can't remember the names or the links or the URLs off the top of my head. So what I do is I create meta refresh shortcuts. So if you go to tocreatorwebsite.com slash aweber or tocreatorwebsite.com slash amazon those links will redirect you to my affiliate links for those respective programs. So how did I do that? For me, since I use Dreamweaver, um, you can use whatever you use to set up folders on your server. Maybe you go directly through your hosting control panel and go to the file manager. Maybe you use your FileZilla, FTP program, or whatever you use to create folders on your server. That's what you'll need. So the first thing you're going to do is choose a name for the folder. Let's say you're doing this for Amazon's affiliate program. Then you would create a folder called Amazon and inside that folder you're gonna create a file and it's called index.html and you're gonna use this code that I'm gonna to provide to you in the description of the video so make sure you check there and all this is is a simple meta refresh okay so the meta refresh and that's what it's saying here refresh to this link down here in zero seconds so after you create your Amazon folder then right here you're gonna paste your Amazon affiliate link here and so when your users or audience goes to yourdomain.com slash Amazon, it will redirect to your affiliate link. And yes, it will take the cookie with it. You may not see your actual affiliate link in the browser. Sometimes the refresh happens so quickly because we have it set to zero. Sometimes it happens so quickly you can't see it. So you may wonder, oh my goodness, did my link go over? Trust me, I've been doing this guys for 12 years. I've been testing it. It always works and I still get my commissions. Um, I haven't seen any problems with using this method. So um, the benefit to using this and I've trust me I've reaped the benefits several times because um, you know there might be programs that may change their affiliate tracking systems and they have to change all of the affiliate links so you'll get this dreaded email we regret to inform you that we just updated our system so unfortunately you're gonna have to change all of your affiliate links on your site and if you've got 60 70 affiliate links spread across these pages that can be a pain so when you use this method, you don't have to worry about it because you're sending people to yourdomain.com slash folder. So the only link you have to update is the link inside the folder. So it makes your life so much easier. And this has happened to me several times where people, especially affiliate managers that know that I sell a lot for them, they almost dread contacting me. They're like, Lisa, we hate to tell you this, but you're going to have to update all of your affiliate links. And I'm like, no problem. I've got a meta refresh, so all I have to do is just update one file and everything just corrects and updates, and so I'm good to go. And they're like, oh, thank goodness, because we thought you were going to be upset with us. No, not when I have a meta refresh. And as I said in the beginning of the video, guys, there are so many other ways to do this. Let's say you want to track your affiliate links and you have an affiliate tracking system set up, which I do in some cases, then you can set up the affiliate tracking system on your CMS, WordPress, your plugins, whatever, but you can still set up a meta refresh for those tracking links so it makes it easier for you to remember. Because typically those tracking systems create links that are really long and drawn out. So you can still use my method to um, set up refreshes for those long links. So. Hope that helps you guys out. If you're anything like me and you got a ton of affiliate links, you probably will want to use this method because it really has saved me a lot of time. So hope that helped you guys out and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye.